Okay guys, welcome to Gavin Hunt's Cookies Show. What I'm going to teach you guys how to do today is we're going to do another pasta bake for you guys. And it's going to be a tuna pasta bake. I'm going to do for you lads. Okay, so the greens you guys are going to need is your brown onion. That ingredient is pasta. Your tins of tuna. Two tins. Some sweet corn, if you like sweet corn. Some cheese, I'm going to do it with cheese as well. Also your pasta sauce, I've got tomato and herb sauce. Okay guys. That's your passport, so what I'm going to do on the side bit as well, is going to do a salad. So I've got some already chopped up lettuce to make it easier cooking for you guys. And uh, some cucumber I'm going to chop up as well guys, okay. Okay guys, so the most important thing is to do before you guys start cooking is start prepping your food before you actually start cooking it, okay guys? So the first thing we're going to start is what we're going to need for our pasta bake. So I've got my knife here. So the way I'm going to start this down is I'm going to cut the oven, the oven, the onion in half. Just like so. I'm going to put my knife to one side, then all I'm going to do oh, he wants to work with me, is peel this on the end to one side. So what we're doing here, I'm just peeling the onion and we're going to use most of the onion. And you see how many other videos what I've done with you guys. Don't forget to wash your hands before you start prepping and start cooking guys. I've already done mine before I started filming. <laughs> okay, there we go guys. So I'm going to move all my rubbish out of the way. Put it back to one side. Then all they do is nice and carefully put down with my knife. Across the onion, we are going to go to the bottom of the onion. When I put the well, we are going to chop that out of the way, chop it down, like so. Oh. Be careful, it can stick to the knife, guys. And it's really just lovely and fresh. But then, the other thing, give me other video with the onion. So our onion is all ready, so I'll put it on a plate, guys, ready to go into our uh, pasta bag. So let's do that. Get rid of that to one side. Go. So I'm not going to do cheese just yet. So what I'm going to grab is, I'm going to grab a cucumber. Chop the end off. What I'm going to do is just peel it back, tiny bit, peel a few slices off. Just be careful that it's bigger, never just cut away from you guys. So you guys don't eat it yourselves. And for the twins, Charlie's daughters, don't forget uh, you're going to need a blender for your mum. All I'm doing is cutting it off in little small bits. If you guys want to block that, you can have a block that if you want. It's certainly up to how you guys cut it. And all this is going to be a side salad for my uh, cauliflower cheese. Cauliflower, cauliflower cheese, sorry guys. Pasta bag. Uh, tuna pasta bag, guys. 
that be enough there. All the dirt, let's put some salad in. That's one side, sorry guys. Whack it all in. Use a spoon or something guys if you guys want. I prefer to use my hands. And all we do is move the lettuce around and mix up the cucumber into the thing. You can add onions, you can add peppers in this thing if you guys want, salad stuff. You've got salad cream out there, you guys can put in for the dressing. Good lot of stuff, I'll go more on that if you guys want to make salads and stuff like that as well. Teach you guys how to do them. Oh, that's a bit bad. Be out of the way in the rubbish pile. And there you go, and that's us. That's our lettuce there guys, all salad ready, that's the way I like it. So the next thing you guys are going to need is we need to do the cheese. So I'm going to cut, not going to use a knife, sorry guys. Look what I'm going to use a knife, it's only made out of paper. Take the package off. I'm going to stick half the cheese. This is the knife. There we go. Pull that to one side. I'm going to grab my grater. Roll there we go. Just carefully go up and down with my grater. Just like so, guys. So it's all grated. Okay guys, that's all our cheese grated just there guys. Ready to go into our cheese. That's 250 grams of cheese just there. So the next one we're going to do is going to move that up a little bit. We'll grab our tuna. We're going to drain the juice out of it. You guys can see. <coughs> Sorry guys. And all we'll do is squeeze in. The tear to get the juice out. So all I'm going to do, lift up the tin. And be careful guys, because it will be sharp. Whack that one in. Move that tin to one side. Grab the next one. I'm going to whack that in as well. Inside with that one. There and it comes out in chunks, guys. Just be careful when you take them off, guys, because these are sharp and they will cut you really good. So, as I've got there, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get a fork, I'm just going to go in, and all I'm going to do is break it up just like so. We grab the sweet corn, dry the juice out of that. It's only a small tin, I'm going to use the whole tin of it. Just spread out, put the tins together because we recycle them. All we're going to do is mix it in with the tuna and that is all our prep done guys. So we need to go into the kitchen now so I'm going to meet you guys in the kitchen. Off we go. Okay guys welcome to my domain the kitchen. So what we need to add in now is the pasta guys. So what we're going to do So, half a bag. Just don't forget it's going to double in size, okay guys? There you go. 
for us that should do. Okay. That's how much you have in there guys, okay? Half a bag. Let's go okay, it's gonna double his size up to there, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you guys over to the sink. Okay, so I'm over at the sink now. So I'm gonna come over here, and all I'm gonna do is swirl the water around, cold water down in there. Give it a bit of a wash. Put it back up. Just enough to fill two meters above the uh, pasta. Oh, I didn't want to stop there. So just two meters above the pasta on top of the water sack. Don't forget it's going to double its size, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's move down the way, guys. Sorry. So we're ready to put it on the oven now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the back up. Get the gas going or the electric oven going, guys. I'm going to put this on, okay, guys. All we're going to do is add two, add two, two, two uh, pinches of salt into the pasta. That's about enough. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to cook. Don't cover it up because it will bubble over. Just leave it as it is. That should take about 8 minutes to 10 minutes to cook. Okay, guys, and I'll teach you guys what it looks like when it's cooked. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, so as you guys can see here, it's bubbling very nicely. It has not a structure in the pan at all. So all I'm going to do is going to grab one out. If I can grab one, blow what's cup, right? Remember, this is with boiling water, so you need to blow hard, okay, guys? Blow just to cool it down. And when you taste it, you don't want to see the, uh, it doesn't want to be crunchy and stuff, so it's going to be soft inside. That's nice, okay? So that's done, that's been on for about 8 minutes to 9 minutes, so that's been on. So we'll turn that off and we go over to the sink. So you guys got our colours are just ready to go, so I'm going to move the tap out of the way guys. Come over with the pasta. And we'll slowly pull that in. Just be careful as you do it guys, sorry. Oh, I should do that way so you guys can see. Just barely. If we can, as you can see, it has doubled up in size, guys. So you're going to leave that to stand for about five minutes and the walk is all draining. Before we do that, we're going to give it a shake. Just not so. So we'll leave that five minutes and move. Okay, guys, one thing I did forget to mention is to put your oven on before. You start cooking the pasta to get warmed up, ready to go in for ready for the pasta back to go in. So uh, guys, do forget to mention that one. So this has been standing now for about five minutes. So I'm going to put it back into the uh, the pan we've been using. Let's whack that in, guys. Right, the sit rays been washed up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. Is we're going to pair it in here. So we're going to do that. We're going to get our sauce, our pasta mate sauce ready, guys. So guys, as we go through together, guys, I'll teach you guys how to do it all for fresh as well. It's doing this the easier way for you guys to go through. And then this beginning, this is the easiest way to do it to get you guys comfortable to cook as well, guys. Okay? Don't be scared. When you're cooking, so all I do is mix that in. Just don't be scared when you guys are cooking. That's, that's when accents start happening, okay, guys? So I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna grab our onions, I'm gonna throw them in, I'm gonna throw them in, mix all that up together. There we go. 
Rack it all up. The only thing you want to do is cut the onions first as well, just to stop it up a tiny bit. If you guys want to do that, that's absolutely fine. So the next thing we guys are going to need to do, so I'm about to go into the fridge because I've had to hide the tuna from my cat. So, at least we add our tuna in. Just add it half in at, for now. Okay, guys, you can use a spoon if you want. Mix that in together. Just gonna get a handful of cheese. Throw that in. Get that all melted together. Nice, smelling lovely as well. Got a bit more tuna in. Uh, bit of more tuna on, so nice with my fingers. I'm going to use my fingers and and yes, yeah, so don't scare the cookie, guys. Don't if it comes out wrong, don't worry about it. We're all sorted at the bottom, even Gordon Ramsay, even me, even Mark, even Dad, or whoever looks after you guys, or if you're single parents, or you know, we're all going to start somewhere, we're all not perfect. So, I'll move you guys over. Sorry guys, there we go, I've got my uh, saucepan just ready here guys. I'm going to throw that all into the saucepan now. Throw that in. So that's all, had a good mix. In there guys. Okay. Chip of this on your pack, it's going to look like this. Go sauce over it, whack, whack water and soap in there straight away, guys. So you don't stick. So, all we're going to do down to one side, could get a spoon, sprinkle the rest of your. Uh, Tuna around on top. Okay. Don't forget we've got cheese to go on as well. So we're going to sprinkle that all over our pasta bake. Just like so guys. Work it out when it's heated up. Just like so, guys. That's it. That's where it's been washed. We're going to do it. Okay, so my pasta mate is ready to go in. So, what you guys, what number you want if you're using a gas cooker? At least you want it at on number five. If we've got electric oven, it'll be 180 degrees. Is what you guys need to put on in the oven, okay? So you've got to have a nice slow cook in there, okay? Make sure you warm it up for 15 minutes before you guys put it in. I did forgot to mention that before at the start. Sorry about that, guys. So, before we put the oven in, before we put this in, what we guys going to need? I think. I'm getting them now. You don't want to burn your sucky, you don't want to burn your hands. And yet, other gloves, guys. Okay? Other gloves. Okay, you don't want to burn your fingers. So you can open the other door, because that's going to be hot. I'm going to put it on the middle shelf. Okay, so that's in there now, guys. 
So that's going to take about 40 minutes to cook and that should be done guys, okay? So I'll see you in 40 minutes and we'll see how it turns out. Okay guys, so that's been there for about 40 minutes to 45 minutes now. So that should be done. So I'm going to turn the oven off because I'm that confident that it is done. Okay, so most important thing is what we're going to need. Do you guys think? Yeah, we're going to need some oven gloves because it is going to be red hot, guys, okay? And we don't want to burn your fingers. So get a pair of these. So let's go in there. Let's get it out. Let's show you guys. There. Okay, if I bring you guys over, whoop, let's bring you down, as you can see there, oops, sorry guys, okay, so that's it there, it's bubbling nicely, as you can, if you've got, if your camera's picking that up, it's bubbling all over, that's still cooking inside, that is lovely, that is done. Nice and hard, cheese got brown a little bit as well. That is what you're looking for guys, okay? So I'm going to leave that for 5 to 10 minutes just to settle. And then I'm going to dish it up and show you what it looks like on a plate guys. Okay guys, so now it's ready to dish up now guys. So I'm going to move you guys over to the plate. Got that, yep, there we go, you can see that. So I've got my salad ready to go onto the plate. I'm going to get my spoon, my serving spoon. Well, I've got just there. Ooh. Okay, so we've got what we should have done. Put this over first. Sorry, guys. It was two seconds now, but we'll whip it to now, I don't think. So we've got that. Cut down there. Slice down there. Whack that on a plate. Just like so. As you can see, it's still nice and hot inside, guys. Just going to move that out of the way. Bring that in. And all I do is put the salad on the side. Just like so guys, just like that. Okay, you do different salads, you can do different salads out there in packages if you want to get in there. I just want lettuce and cucumber, that's all I like. So what I do is, uh, probably do next week, probably I had to do a different salads for you guys. With, with the dressing and stuff out for fresh. And there you go guys. That is your tuna pasta make. All ready to eat. Nice and healthy for you guys. Okay guys, so that is all done for you guys now. That is, is your tuna pasta, pasta all done for you. Hope you guys love it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please guys, if you guys can, please subscribe. Please like and please turn your notifications so you know when my next video is going to go up there for you guys. we got all the stuff coming out on the channel as well. I'm going to be sticking it up there. As well as what's going to be coming. Go follow us on Facebook. Get the Hunt Family UK. We're on Facebook as well guys. Go over there and follow us. and stuff up there as well. And uh, guys. Most important thing is. Okay. This video as well is for Charlene's kids. The twins. And, and the other girl. I can't remember your name guys. I'm sure Charlene will remind me the next time I see her. Look after your mum. She does work hard. Okay guys, when you guys are cooking, please be careful. And the most important thing is, stay brave.